Hello and welcome back to your Dark Lord. Let's head out and kill the humans. As you can see, holy crap, we don't have guys. Everyone is just sitting back at home in the graveyard, just doing their thing. And I don't, I don't have, I don't have uh, a team here. Like, ultimately, I can just get some guys out of the graveyard, I, I guess, if we are really running low. But <clears throat> death is a, a strong possibility. Let's see what we get. Each time Iratus uses a spell, a random enemy is dealt 10 stress damage. That seems pretty good. Wait, is this? No. Minions made up of 4 uncommon parts or more gain additional 20 vigor during battle. That seems really good. Unlocks a secret destruction spell, Iratus deals 50 magic damage. If target is stunned, deals an additional 100% damage. Even without that, it's not a terrible spell. It's actually pretty decent. But I, I think Amulet of Perfection, as long as we get to the point of uh, getting uncommon minions, this would be huge. In the long run. But in the long run, it might be, it might be a little dumb. Like this, this seems pretty good because I want to spam spells and doing stress damage with that is nice, but also not dead minions. That seems pretty good too. So I'm, I'm, think, I'm just gonna pick that and hope to use that very well in the long run. Yeah. <clears throat> the keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives, arrange fights and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as a king and the keys were his crown, as long as they were needed, he was needed. But the undead care not for the jingling metal and for the man himself, they will have no need at all. You know, I would rather not though, I would like to uh, imagine that, you know, we just showed up and he was just... Uh, you know, hugging his uh, newborn baby with uh, with his wife, and they were like looking forward to life, and uh, whatever, something like that. You know, I'm the bad guy, okay? I wanna be the bad guy, not just like oh these bastards were killing each other, raping each other, and like stealing everybody. They were like coked up, and they just about murder each other, and we just show up and like I almost feel like the good guy at this point. They just, they just locked me up here. I'm the good guy, of course. To the to battle. Oh, what the fuck is up with that guy? Um, a lot of them are kind of weak, but the key master is not so much. Uh... Okay. All opponents randomly swap positions. Now this would be really good with any position-based abilities. So every time the uh, the enemies change positions, you know, you just do do something, and you know, pretty good combo with the braid. Uh, maybe we just put down a bomb. Have a little tingle up your spine. <laughs> So now we have a choice of between doing 8 damage plus 75% of what the armor, which is gonna be uh, like 9. So 17 damage, or we just pray for a bit of mana. But at that point, that would not help. Because I have enough mana to keep uh, whatever I'm dumb crap I, I do. So we're just gonna keep murdering. None of them are boosted except this guy. Redirect to ally. I just tried to kill the hunky. Um whatever enemy moves deal damage to it. Yeah. We can do the Flames of the Passionate Love, unfortunately. Oh, 
Although the skeleton took a lot of damage. That's no good. Have a little tingle up your can spine. Scream a bunch of uh, stress damage on them, but that doesn't seem to be super worth it. I just want the Dark Knight to do his thing. I don't know when, when the bomb will trigger. Uh, let's just get rid of his block. Yeah, just hit the guy. That's fine. Let's just scream. That's pretty good. And if he can take out the guy in the front, then the bombs are just gonna hit more relevant targets. Very nice. Perfect. So. <clears throat> this wretch yeah uh, Scott and mister you you seem to be in trouble we can we can try to use him as a way to proc the armor of the key master kind of need to do that I don't know if just waiting for waiting is gonna be good enough Yeah, he deals a lot of damage. Uh, I'll just take him out. One more for the stockpiles. Oh, what? What the fuck? So we are out of mana. So at this point, it's kind of like you know, maybe praying for some mana would be decent. And indeed, yeah, that would be nice. And put the guy who's about to die even more into the front. Perfect. But I can't save him. Impale this wretch. What am I supposed to do with him? We can take out the the guy. Maybe he just keeps summoning if I keep killing the summon. I can give him evasion. Let's give him evasion. Holy shit, no! A full compliment? That's not good. No, that's so bad. And unlike Darkest Dungeon, you can't just go back and like, oh, I, I guess, you can't, you can't even fucking run away. No, you can't do that. He's dead. He's super dead. He's so fucking dead. He's beyond dead. I can, I can keep sliding back. To get mana. Have a little tingle up your spine. <sighs> Can I just stress him out and kill him that way? Removes all buffs from the targets. Oh, we can't even do cursed flames. Moving this guy into the front would be nice, but we can't do that. Target loses evasion. We can't really... Okay, let's just give evasion. This captain is going to die for sure. Wow, he survived. That's quite impressive. <clears throat> So we can slide in. Yeah, 
invalid target. Oh yeah, we need to hit someone in the front. He's gonna die to the bomb. Skeleton can move a little bit back. But actually, the rate should move in a little bit. Strength through pain. Uh, is it possible that I just pop the Mystic Fortitude? And he's going to not die? I think we would need to stack up Embrace Mediocrity here. And that's what I should have fucking done from the start. <laughs> not realizing it, because this is a bo long boss fight. And that's the only way he's not going to die. This is a must-have for boss fights. Yeah, I fucked up. I think we just gotta have to Mystic Fortitude here. And maybe if it, the situation is less, less hectic, we try to stack up. Gonna be an explosion. So, this is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I kind of want to do that, but probably the Dark Knight is a better use for the the points <laughs> this never gets old yeah how about just keep blocking <clears throat> he has a chance to redirect to an ally let's gain mana can scream stress well I just gain fortitude magic damage oh man go back do I want to use 50 on that let's do that your frail bodies fail okay I don't think the bosses can die to stress damage does it work on bosses? Can we make the boss lose all sanity? We have to do Behold something like that. This wretch. Oh my god! The, the ghost is almost dead. We have to go for uh, a survival here. And uh, slide in the front. Wait. Okay, the ghost survived. Impale Just barely. Uh, we have to go for a block again. Ghost is going to die. <gasps> oh my god, the key master needs to die. How is he still alive, the skeleton? Oh my god, he can't block anymore. He has to go for an attack. Well, I, I could have kind of made him block. Oh 
Okay. I need to kill the big guy. Prepare this wretch. Oh. Chance of misdirect. Well, that was a you long time coming. Place. Got it. Oh my god, we can't do survival. Strength through pain. Well, we have to. Oh, okay. Set him on fire. No, oh, please. Strength through pain. Go save yourself. He goes in the front. The dumb ability. Oh man. You gotta take out the big guy. But I would probably have a better chance with that. If I. I don't know. I need mana, but I also. Deals? Does this hit both targets? It kind of feels like way. No, it doesn't. Apparently not. I have no way to take them out. This wouldn't be enough. I need mana. That's so bad. Oh no, this looks bad. This looks very bad. This oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, we can't... Oh my god, what do I do? This has to go... Well, we can do magic damage on the guy in the back. He's gonna take at least 9 damage. So we would need to do 18 magic damage. That's not good. Stress is not good enough. Concealing cloud. I think it's far more likely that she's gonna get hit. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. And she did. And she was the ma main damage dealer here. Okay, can we just uh, blow him up? Wait, this is the first two. We can I set him on fire. End, my friend. Okay. No, fuck, this is so bad. No, no, we need to go for the block. My horse are without number. You got this, mate. Hit him. No need for any fancy magics. Holy crap! A sad display of mortal kind. Sad display? Fuck yeah. It was a very sad display. Free death, guys? Oh my god. I like this squad. Dark Knight and nothing else. Oh, we can now upgrade the the ultimate. Ultimate is actually one of the better ones. Enemy loses 35 vigor. Dark Knight recovers vigor in the amount of damage received by the enemy. So as long as we keep healing up, this is slightly better. But like, you know, 15 HP, that's really good. 
All enemies lose 15 vigor. Dark Knight re recovers vigor the amount of uh, damage received by enemies. Yeah, I think just going for more health. This is like 20% more health. Or... Uh, like, okay, a little bit more armor. This, this is very unlikely to add up to 15%. I mean, just 20% uh, more health. For this, we would need to hit uh, two, a little bit more than two targets. And for this, we would need to hit one target. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Ravenous Abyss just seems really, really good. They both have the same cost. But let's get them. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. I don't know, we need to get more guys. So, extra talents. Alchemy? I don't fucking know. <sighs> yeah, that seems okay. If the target is on fire, then we deal, like, 45... Uh, physical damage to it. Yeah, that seems really, really good. But this physical damage twice to the same target, regardless whether the target is on fire or not. So, I mean, they're both okay. But I need to be a little careful here. Like, I, I shouldn't just put points into everything. 20 stress to one target. Target minion loses 20 vigor and gains... Uh, 5 attack until the target... Oh, that's only minion. Uh, I don't know, this seems uh, a little odd. All minions and enemies gain 10 luck. Why enemies? At the start of its turn, a minion gains uh, 4 stress damage. Dread for a turn. If Iratus has at least 50 rat. But that's passive. That's kind of good. That also seems pretty good, the Drum of War. I mean, that might be an okay pickup. That's 36 damage. This is 30, potentially 45 damage. I think, I, I really like the idea of potentially 45 damage for uh, this amount of mana. Of course, the Spine Bomb is actually better, but it's super delayed. And sometimes you just you just cannot control who's gonna get hit by it. Zombies receive accuracy and attack and dread and initiative. Okay, cool. That seems a little too much. Iratus deals 25 physical damage. Additionally, 200 physical damage, 200% extra if the target is debuffed. So, 75 physical damage for 22. That actually seems ridiculously good if we debuff the target. And this is uh, 45 for 14. I mean, that's kind of fine. These are all okay. 30 man uh, magic damage for 11 is pretty good too. Ooh. Ooh, Curse Doll. Yeah. But we already got Spine Bomb for that. As long as we're willing to put up with some delay, that's not too bad. I think we're just gonna go with Mocking Slap. And maybe Drums of War. Just to get initiative. I need nothing but my anger to purge this. At the start world. of its turn, a minion gains four dread for one turn if Iratus has at least uh, 50 rats. Oh, at the start of its turn, a minion restores eight vigor if Iratus has at least 75 rats. If Iratus has a, as 100 rats, all spells cost 10 mana. Less, but not less than zero. Wow, this is kind of cool. 
kind of cool. Maybe Ira is something good. The chosen minion loses 12 luck and gains 6 attack and 6 dread until the battle ends. I mean, I don't value luck that much, but I mean, for 18 mana? That seems a little pricey. All the minions and enemies gain 10 luck until the battle ends. That seems pretty bad. All units recover full vigor. Oh, what? Oh, right! That's ridiculously good! Wow, really? Ire seems to be my jam. Maybe that's what we're gonna do. Um, we gotta create some minions. We have access to mummy now. Uh, that I'm totally not familiar with, but let's just make one of them. I like to keep the embalmed organs as uh, souvenirs. Wow. <laughs> I guess we're making a uh, bride of Iratus. <laughs> we make two? Why is this so easy to find? Alright. <sighs> okay. So we got Mummy here, who has um, above average HP, like a, a little bit of block and ward, so his survival seems above average, although no tankiness and comes dead last. His damage is below average easily, accuracy is average. Cursing touch, curse, oh that's curse that, yeah yeah that means... He takes, uh, the the target takes uh, stress damage, dread damage, each turn. So the first attack right away is 30 stress damage. Not terrible. And it can be upgraded, so instead of uh, 30 stress damage, it's gonna be uh, 50 stress damage over time. And it can also be upgraded that uh, it deals a little bit more over two turns. I mean, this is not a great ability, but it's fine. Deals okay damage, target loses 5 luck, I mean, uh, 10 luck for two turns. Pfft. Whatever. That's not great. Target loses 20 luck for two turns. I mean, does luck really matter that much? No. Target loses 10 luck. Until the bell ends. Okay. That's still bad. But it pulls someone forward. Stress attack deals 10 stress damage to the chosen target and the enemy standing behind it. That's just not amazing. At that point the cursing touch is better. Wait, what's the difference here? Oh, we also push back the target. Oh, and here we ignore ward. Uh, impending horror, kinda useless. Support, removes all debuffs from allies. Mummy gains 5 vigor for each debuff removed. That seems okay, very situational though. Iratus gains 8 wrath for each debuff removed. Ah, well, I, I kinda prefer the vigor maybe. Kind of depends on where the mummy has to be played. The cursing touch means the mummy has to be played on the first two spots. Uh, clinging wraps means he can be played in the back, but he doesn't do too much there. Impending horror. Uh, yeah, that's kind of bad. What we got here? Oh, he, he heals for more, or instead, uh, Iratus gains uh, some rats. Stress attack deals 9 damage, additionally, the bow, like 12 and a half if the mummy has a the debuff. Spirit? Yeah. yeah, mummy has to have a debuff. This is even more if the mummy has a debuff. Anything that doesn't tie to the debuff element. No, this is more upfront damage. And this is more situational damage. So, like a 
A high stress attack is the ultimate. Additionally deals one stress damage for each point of negative luck that target has. That's actually... I'm not sure how that works. But if it's one every time, because... This could kill a unit if it's like one, 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 one. Because every stress attack deals uh, individual... Uh, well, every stress attack has a chance to kill uh, a unit. But in this case... Additionally deals one stress damage for each point of negative, you know? I mean... I, it, it It's not clear how it works. But the mummy seems... A little confusing to use, frankly. It seems like a frontline guy. Alright, let's just see what we got back home. So, these can be removed. And this can be removed as well. Uh, they're just excavate, excavating. We also got a zombie here. We got a brain. We can give to the mummy. If we need to. Uh, we might give a brain to the Bride of Iratus. Flames of Passion Love seems to be the best way to deal damage. I so with this we deal 22, results. like this is 42 damage, which is just makes him uh, makes her the best damage dealer. And uh, at this point you can get more accuracy. Veteran when enemy moves, uh, deal damage to it. This can have a synergy with the right attack. The Brian gains uh, 6 attack and 6 dread until the com uh, battle ends. But that needs to be a really long combat for that to be worth it. And also she can worship Iratus and give him mana. But that's mostly for later. Increases the chance to escape by 10% for two actions. I don't really care about the stress attack. Interrupt stances. Fine. Okay. A, a critical hit will stun the target for one action. Fine, I mean, critical is fine. Rules for the lady is just whatever. <laughs> I don't really care about it. Accuracy is, is nice, nice to have, but her accuracy is already pretty good. What she should do is just uh, not die. Ignores armor. I don't know, like think of him, adore him. The thing is, this can be used in a very long fight, and this can be used uh, just when you have nothing else to do, and you just want to get some mana. But And this also gives us uh, magic armor, and this also gives us attack. So, more attack. It seems like the... I don't know, I I'm kind of curious. My enemies are in for a no, no, no. Nasty the... The burn is based on attack, because I upped the attack and the burn went up. So now we deal 24 damage plus uh, 22 uh, with the burn. So Bride of Iratus can be over here. Uh, she just wants to burn stuff. And this is the regular zombie, thankfully, I like that. This is... Uh, they are both identical, which is actually not the best. Do I just give her a brain? Wait, we can give her a level 4 brain. Do I do that? Let's, let's give her a level 4 brain. And we can give... Uh, I don't know. She needs that for sure. Let's be real. She needs that. She kinda needs that. She's gonna be in the back, spamming regular attack. Uh, it's gonna be either... Well, it's gonna be 25 average damage a piece, which is not amazing. We can go for 
possibly 15% chance to stun or a chance for critical hit. Oh, actually this removes the critical hit element altogether. Okay, let's just go with Heart Piercer. Get back I'm okay. Alright, Heart Piercer in the back. The good news is that there is uh, no one uh, who has to heal now. Uh, we can't create anybody. Damn it. Don't I have anybody who wants to to heal a little bit like a tiny bit at all nobody and and who wants to uh get gain some xp okay zombie what about you don't you like xp we can sacrifice the mummy maybe can we sacrifice the mummy but for where for what and where. So, yeah, we can sacrifice the mummy over here to gain more architect souls, but I don't really want that. What is this? I don't know what minion is that, but we need to get it. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Oh. Chance to find an item in the lake. Fuck yeah, let's do that. So we sacrifice the mummy. In the lake. And we're gonna fish with one of the banshees. And the other banshees is going to level up. Well, not level up, but try to level up. Yep. That's the team! <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the dungeon. So, we are about to exit the game. Or exit this area. Dwarf tunnels, mercenary barracks. Available after release. Oh, uh, well, I guess we're not gonna go forever, but we're gonna have some fun. Anyway, guys, that's it for now, and thanks for watching.